It is tradition to celebrate the arrival of a new ship into a company's fleet with grand pomp and circumstance in the form of naming ceremonies and inaugural voyages. To give you an idea, it should look something like this from the edge in 2018. Joining us in this one of a kind celebration for a one of a kind ship Bagpipes, confetti, famous pop stars, champagne christening, and in the Celebrity Edge's case, the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winning godmother who blesses the ship and all who sail with her. Side note, I say her because the way I see it, ships, just like Mother Earth and Mother Nature, carry on life. So when our latest edition joined the celebrity fleet at the peak of a pandemic, naturally these formal events needed to be postponed but we still wanted to welcome our newest sister, the Celebrity Apex, in true celebrity style, and having five of our ships together at anchor in the Bahamas awaiting the end of the no-sail order provided a perfect opportunity to let our newest celebrity shine. The brainstorming started well before the Apex began crossing the Atlantic on her way to join the Celebrity Edge, Equinox, Reflection, Silhouette, and Summit. Initially, the idea was to surprise the Apex Captain Dimitri and his crew with a warm welcome when they showed up. However, plans progressed and became more elaborate, so it was important to loop the Apex in. Daily conference calls led by Captain Manolis, our Vice President of Marine Operations, were conducted so we could discuss and agree what could be accomplished in the terms of maneuvers that had never been done by another fleet before, taking into consideration our number one priority, which is always safety. Captain Yanni on Summit and Captain Tassos on Equinox sussed out GPS coordinates for each ship given the specific formation with our shoreside counterpart, Captain Justin. Speeds, distance, depth of water under the keel, current, weather, time frames, lighting, and who exactly would be calling the commands for all the ships to be coordinated was determined, and this is what our plan looked like. And here's a random fun fact. Keeping in mind that this is a family affair, the Celebrity Equinox Captain Tassos is the brother of Celebrity Apex Captain Dimitri. And at one point in time, these brothers were sailing on sister ships. And rumor has it, epic horn wars ensued. It's Monday, October 12th, and we are anticipating the arrival of our sister ship, the Celebrity Apex. This is the first time that she's joining our celebrity family. I have the staff captain. I have our amazing sailor, Aziz. I have our second officer, Liz. And we're getting ready to heave up the anchor because we're going to do some very special maneuvers to welcome our baby sister into the fleet. I'm more excited than Christmas, birthday, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Easter all wrapped into one. It's going to be awesome. With the apex scheduled to arrive around 2.30 in the afternoon, all of the ships started heaving up their anchor at approximately noon in order to give us enough time to proceed 14 nautical miles north of our anchorage positions. And everybody was on board. This is our first formation called the drop zone. All five of the Bahamas Bay ships are in their predetermined positions awaiting the arrival of the celebrity apex. Normally, we would have hired helicopters, airplanes, or professional drone pilots to capture images of these unique maneuvers, but since it's just us out at the anchorage, we had to get creative. We are fortunate that most of the ships already had a drone on board. Safety Officer Marius was our edge pilot who spent a week planning out his drone strategy from flight plans to optimum angles while considering time of day and lighting. He made 13 flights with two different drones and was able to give us the best bird's eye view. Ooh, there she is. The first sighting is going to be a With our first sighting at 16 miles off, it was time to establish radio communication. Okay, Jens, in order to avoid the one on the top of the other, uh, let me call you to see if we can hear each other. Uh, Ed, can you hear me? Celebrity Edge, loud and clear, welcome home. Sweet. 
Equinox, you copy? Celebrity Equinox, loud and clear, welcome home. It's dope. Celebrity Silhouette, you copy? Celebrity Silhouette, loud and clear, welcome, welcome. My heart is wide open. Celebrity Reflection, you copy? Good afternoon, Celebrity Apex. Officers, crew, and captain, dear captain, welcome, channel one zero. Excellent, in perfect uh, Cretan accent. Celebrity summit, uh, the son of the general, who en en orchestrate the whole thing. Do you copy? Good afternoon, good afternoon, welcome home. Good afternoon to everyone. Excellent, gentlemen and uh, Madam uh, Captain Kate, uh, we will be on Channel 10 as we are approaching closer to our position, so communication will be via 10. Stand by. Standing by. Go the cannons, let's go. Captain Dimitri, from your little sister to our newest little sister, wishing you always fair winds and following seas. So much love, support, and uh, just enjoyment from this moment from the crew, staff, the officers of the Celebrity Edge. Thank you, Kate. Kate, and uh, looking at your vessel, I have only one thing to say. Damn, I look good. <laughs> we are at the old show from Edge. With everybody in their spot, it was time to get our groove on. Four, three, one, zero, bummer. With the apex as the center of attention, it was time to dance. In order to be the best dance partners, the goal was to have the ships maintain a set rate of turn, which is the number of degrees of heading change per unit of time. The ships on the outside circle maintained a constant 20 degree rate of turn per minute for a full 360 degree turn and in our case we used two of our four bow thrusters in conjunction with two azipods in what we call the X configuration. The apex went all out with an impressive 61 degree rate of turn per minute making her the proud standout. The fourth formation was twins at the hip that unique photo opportunity in order for us to make an X for celebrity cruises and to have the sisters side by side, leaving a pretty perfect setup to fly a drone through both magic carpets. Celebrity Edge has been known as the flagship for our company since 2018, but with the arrival of Apex, we thought it would be only appropriate to bestow her with the title flagship in the most symbolic way that we could. This was a secret that we didn't share with the Apex beforehand until the ships were in position bow to bow. I asked Captain Dimitri to head down to his helideck and I would do the same. As you can hear the crew cheering from both ships in the background, it was an emotional moment when we flew our Celebrity Cruises flag from the edge to the Apex. Oh I've got to be honest, even though Marius had practiced this particular drone flight several times beforehand, we were still pretty nervous if it was going to actually make it across. I wouldn't be lying if I said we were all holding our breath, but weather was on our side with light winds, plenty of sunshine, and just a perfect day for this memorable flight. It's only natural that we come full circle, so this was our setup for our seventh maneuver, the shooting stars. Five, four, three, two, one, zero.
50 RPM astern. 50 RPM astern. Penta to the metal. Three short. Three short. What was important about this maneuver wasn't the rate of turn in this case, but speeds. In order to maintain the exact same speeds as we backed and came together again. The last formation was a nod to tradition in forming a V for victory. With the apex at the lead, Captain Dimitri gave each ship an order for 50 RPM. And even though every ship in the celebrity fleet has azipods and we started the formation at the same revolutions per minute, we all pick up speed differently, so fine-tuning of the speed was key to maintaining six knots. And why six knots, you ask? Number one is for safety's sake. We didn't want to create a suction between ships. This is more of a concern in shallow water, but we don't take any chances. And the second, more random reason was because six knots seemed to be the optimum speed for Marius and his drone to get out ahead and behind everyone for shots like these. Each person that participated in this unique opportunity, whether on board the ships or in our shoreside office in Miami, said the same thing. It was one of the highlights of their career. To welcome a ship so special during such an unusual time in our history. But we took it as an omen for the great things that are in store for this ship and our entire celebrity family.